Ironically, it was his commitment to staying active that ended up costing Taylor Landgraf a few weeks on the couch. Hoping to get in a quick workout recently, he borrowed a roommate's skateboard to get to the gym and ended up in urgent care. Started going down a hill that was probably a little bit too steep for a beginner and wiped out going down the hill and ended up tearing my meniscus and tearing cartilage in my knee as well. It may have only sidelined Taylor for a few weeks, but doctors say with most injuries to knee cartilage, the effects can last for decades. Unfortunately, cartilage, uh, once it's injured, it's, it's really difficult to repair. We don't have an intrinsic healing potential for it. In other words, the cartilage doesn't heal or regrow on its own, at least not inside the body. So doctors are testing this, human cartilage that was grown in a lab. Six weeks ago, doctors took cartilage cells from a healthy part of Taylor's knee and sent those cells to a laboratory where scientists began growing them. So they'll take that cell line and they'll just keep replicating, replicating, replicating until they have millions of cells. The result is a piece of living cartilage about the size of a quarter. Once it was big enough, Dr. David C. Flanagan of the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center sized it, cut it, and using a special adhesive, essentially glued it to the damaged part of Taylor's knee. There, doctors expect that it will grow into existing cartilage and completely heal the wound. What's really exciting is that if this actually can help improve function, improve outcomes for patients, it may be really the future of how we address cartilage. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.